it seems like, really fair from the point of view of equality in, in, in front of the tax system that we have a way of taxing those un unrealized income. There's also a description of uh, five or six common goods with an S. And uh, those are a clean environment, a good health for everyone. I noted uh, the regulation of the digital companies and innovation, um, a better equality, of course, and, and finance unleashed for socially uh, good projects. So all those are uh, key uh, common goods for the future of our society and therefore for the common good. The president talked about inequality as a common bad, and there was also a risk of uh, of, of increasing that common bad in the world in during the pandemic. Uh, the we were, I think, within the rich countries, both the U.S. and in Europe, reasonably successful at uh, using um, social programs and large expenditures to uh, keep a certain amount of uh, global solidarity together. And in particular, the fact that we were able in Europe to the, the paid furlough um, to employ people, to continue to employ people and pay them even as, as there, there was less demand for the, for the goods that their company produced. The poor countries of the world are, had a very different experience from the rich countries. Many of them actually locked down very quickly. Um, India locked down um, with, with four hours of notice to its, uh, just close the country. Once you close the country, there were people stranded in uh, the big cities uh, with no support. There were there are often people who work on daily wages, who send most of the wages home to their village, who uh, live on the construction sites or in the shop where they work. And those people were just stranded. They had no way of surviving. Uh, this welfare system it was not designed for that. So the welfare system is present, but it serves mostly people who are at home. The question is whether you should expropriate patents. And there I will distinguish uh, between two populations, the rich world and the less developed countries. Uh, because in the end, the, uh, the pharma companies will do the research only if they can recoup their investment uh, through revenues. And if the rich world doesn't want to pay revenues on pharma, not huge prices, of course. You know, if we have compulsory licensing, which allows you, if uh, the pharma is too greedy, actually, to actually expropriate then the pharma, but not systematically expropriate the pharma. Now, for LDCs, it's different because for LDCs, they don't have much money. And of course, they should have that for free. So I will distinguish between two things. The rich world has to pay because otherwise there won't be anything. We could spend 20% on, uh, on our people, but we can't spend 1% or 0.7% on the rest of the world. 1% would pay for all the vaccines and, and some social support to the poor in the poorest countries and everything else. Uh, I, I, I find it a little appalling that that's, that hasn't happened. On the other hand, this highlights the fact that it's not that hard to make it happen. Financial. It seems fair, like really fair from the point of view of equality in, in, in front of the tax system. And, you know, as Jean say, economists don't like loophole, loopholes, that we have a way of taxing those un unrealized income. And some countries like the Netherlands used to have a tax on unrealized income. It's very difficult to put in place administratively. So if, in fact, you're thinking of a wealth tax that is above a certain amount of money, you're paying, let's say, 2% on your wealth, this is equivalent to about a half of the income that is generated by their wealth, or even a third if it's 2%. Would it mean that uh, rich people are against common good? I think, uh, in the end, I mean, of course, they can promote the common good by giving their wealth away. And that's what Bill Gates and others have done. At the same time, it's very useful and they have done a good job, for example, with Gavi, I mean, because they, they oversee actually the production process and, uh, and it's, they make sure sometimes that it's going to good use. But at the same time, you cannot generalize the system too much because otherwise really that means that those billionaires are actually doing the public policy. So, 
there should be some of it, but you, you have to, to do also the government has to take its, its do its job.